Engage. And actually, I'm going to back out of the way, and we're going to push in right in the middle of what should be a street. Katie, I believe, can you see it? That is we can see uh, it. an alligator, we believe. Yep, so that is what is in the waters. And obviously, whenever we cover floods, we are always trying to stress that you do not want to go into the waters. Uh, this is about as good a reason why as you should not go in the water. We do not know everything that is in there right now, but we know that that is a problem here. And I do not know if that is the same alligator that had been hanging out in the front yard right near us, uh, but that is the situation here in Orlando right now. And again, this is a neighborhood. It is right along uh, some bodies of water, but this is where people should be able to be driving their cars, going for a walk. Uh, you know, again, there's a, a street sign partially submerged that says slow children playing. Not right now, and hopefully no one is out there trying to go check on their properties. And where that alligator is swimming through right now is where we saw people walking earlier. So that just underscores the treacherous situation here. We know that rescues by boat have continued well yeah. beyond when the rain stopped. And even though it is dry and sunny here now, uh, the water is receding, but it is still holding uh, a good amount. It is not draining that quickly here. And we know there are still around 27,000 people just under that number, people who are uh, without uh, electricity, according to officials earlier, and it's getting warmer out. So that's going to be a concern here as well, Katie. Very scary. Uh, Jesse Kirsch, thank you very much. You are the only one that I